Hey there, Beamer owners. Got broken fog lights? Want to get them fixed? I'll bet you're thinking of taking them to the BMW dealership closest to you. Yeah. Uh-uh. You want to know how much they want to charge for one of them bad boys? 365 bucks each. I know. Horrendous. So you know what? I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself for about $100 Canadian and save yourself over 600 bucks and if that doesn't get your attention i don't know what does however you will need some real specialized equipment this oh so specialized flat blade screwdriver that's it and probably less than 10 minutes to do it don't believe me let's try it so here they are straight from well wherever they came from And there we have them. Ooh, nice and shiny. And more importantly, in one piece. Keep in mind, the way they picture them are backwards to what you would normally think. Facing the vehicle, your right is the vehicle's left. One of the tricks to doing this is knowing where to put the screwdriver to take these things out first. Some videos will actually tell you to put the screwdriver in above the tab. That's wrong. Put it off to one side. If you're putting it on the right hand side facing the car, put the screwdriver off to the right. You see this little notch here? You need to get it in there so that you can actually pull down on that little metal tab. That's the biggest trick of all. Well, let's see how tough this thing is to pull out. A little bit off to the right. Put it in. That felt like a tab we were pulling on there. Let's try it again. Make sure. There it is. And wow, wasn't that difficult. So we pull it out. Cable on the back. Just pull that connector off. There we go. Okay, trick here. Pinch these little tabs and off she comes real easy and you're left with that so we'll say goodbye to the old one say hello to the new one now when you first get them that metal tab is sticking way up so we're gonna have to do that a little bit of a bend on it just so that it's clear of everything not a lot it's pretty flexible now for putting it back in watch these little tabs on both sides here because they have to fit inside both sides of the light to hold it in place. We'll put the cord back on here. The connector only goes one way. And we just need to make sure that everything looks like it's lining up. go. That side look good too. Indeed it does. And then push till you hear it snap in place. That one is done. Here we go for the other one. Check to see where that screwdriver has to go. Put it upwards at a bit of an angle first as it goes in. Push it on as far as you can and then when you pull down you can see already it's coming loose. It's probably loose enough as it is. There's that little tab on the top. And sometimes it gets a little stuck just because of the uh, length of time it's been in there. And out it comes. Okay, connector, pinch towards the back. And off it comes. Put the new one back in. Check those tabs. When you've got them lined up.
whole assembly, literally. Should snap right in. And now, the moment of truth. And there you go, about 10 minutes, fog lamps replaced, easy peasy, and only about 100 bucks Canadian, ordered off of eBay out of the States, instead of over $700 to take it to the dealership. That's how you do it yourself.